Good morning and welcome back to video DR in the farm. Happy Easter to everybody. Well, it hasn't let us down the weather, if you can see, but uh, I'll just have a walk out here. But uh, yeah, you guessed it. It's uh, it's raining. What else does it do at Easter? Well, it does all the time now. Yeah. Uh, anyway, not good. But uh, we're busy uh, ripping some uh, failed oilseed rape up and uh, then we're going to get, hopefully, have a go at drilling again. If weather stays fine or it fares up. This field at Melton was in an overwintered stubble scheme, which basically means that uh, it couldn't be ploughed before February the 14th any worked, or any work done to it. So George is now ploughing it. To, but if you notice, there's still the straw trails there from harvest. It turned that wet. The balers never got to bale it. But anyway, it, they're only very thin trails and they've rotted down a bit. So uh, ploughing it crossway on is ensuring it's all buried underneath. But uh, it could have been a big problem if there'd been a lot of straw. Yeah, this field's destined for uh, spring barley again, uh, which uh, after it's been ploughed will turn round and uh, get it worked and get it dry in a bit and uh, get it drilled. With the pre-emergence on the beans, what we drilled the other day, spraying that nice uh, yellow stuff on. You can see it's coming out anyway. So, but, uh, yeah, you get this stuff. I hate spraying this stuff. But, uh, anyway, it's going fairly well. We had a bit of rain overnight, so nice bit of moisture to uh, to put it in with. Go. Yeah, it was a bit wet in here when George uh, drilled it. You can see he had a bit of a struggle here. The tram line's gone missing, but uh, on the whole, it's not bad. Well, the decision's been taken at the minute this week to rip 20, about 25 hectares of all seed rape up uh, and put it in with spring barley because it's just not coming, it's failing. Um, so I'm just putting nitrogen on now, second dose of nitrogen, but I'm picking my places uh, where it's going because they haven't got it ripped up yet, the other rape. But uh, yeah, very difficult decision and uh, I'm sure a lot of people out there have uh, had the same decision to make. Back on the uh, liquid for the second dose of nitrogen for the uh, oilseed rape. Not bad here, but uh, there's a big chunk in this field we're actually uh, taking out, which I'll uh, show you in a minute. Yeah, where the white flags are, the other side to the left of that, all that's coming out. Well, there's nothing there anyway to take out, really. And then it goes down here, shows the bucket windows down to the bottom of the field, quite a long field this one. And then all of this field to the right, it's coming out. It 
it's all uh, there's a little bit there but uh, it's not going to make anything so it's all coming out spring barley as is this where it's coming out well we're just in uh, this field as in the other day putting brake pills putting where we're putting nitrogen on where we marked out what's coming out we're just uh, taking it out now plowing it up as you can see that's to plow nothing there there's no rape but uh, it's uh, a bit of body to it but wind's blowing it'll uh, soon dry out as long as we don't get any more rain and then we'll be able to get it to uh, get it drilled but bah it's wet yeah yeah, George got the 939 on plowing, which we more body this. And, uh, we're getting the 724 back on the plow the day because George got good release. Yeah. It's turning over nicely. It is. Very grip, tyres are let down, you get a grip because the angle is wheel weights in. I just thought I'd show you this while I was out. Uh, one of the main dikes I was digging out in winter. Let's turn the camera around. Yeah, look at the banks. There's been that much rain this winter. It's actually flow down these. It's undercut the banks and they've, uh, they've dropped in. This is a big issue on this one. Now, where there's a land drain in this field, well, we did drain it the other year with um, a drain going across the field to pick up any water running off the slope because we thought that was making it collapse, but uh, it isn't. So, but all of this dike, and especially in the other part of the field, there's another bit up there, you can see the banks are just giving and we're gonna have to do a lot of remedial work. I mean, as you can see down here, the, the, the steepness of the bank it's just the flow down it is just cutting it into a channel and left it more vertical and it's just uh, dropping in so yeah i'm afraid this summer there's going to be uh, this dike's going to have a lot of remedial work on it we finally got drilling at melton the spring barley after it was uh, worked moved a bit to let it, some air into it to, let, to allow it to dry because some of the fields we drilled uh, with heavier patches in needed a bit of time just to dry but that particular field was fairly light anyway but uh, yeah it's all going well and uh, we're covering the ground We've put in uh, liquid nitrogen on the spring barley we drilled at, uh, at Melton Road Farm the other day. It's uh, a bit tacky. 
We had some rain over the bank holiday, obviously, on Monday. But uh, more rain forecast, so uh, yeah. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> A bit of water stood on the drill in there where it uh, rained, and then. Uh, on these headlands it's a really bit snotty because it's water ain't go away. Yeah, it's not ideal conditions but this year is testing. Uh, I'm afraid things are going to get wetter so yeah, got to get on, got to get it done. Well, I mean the majority of the field's travelling well so we're having to sacrifice a little bit of uh, messiness which we wouldn't normally but uh, as everybody knows it's just one of those seasons. It never stops raining. Resting some seed today, more spring barley. Then we'll get it loaded on the trailer. Yeah, this is the spring barley in here. It's actually, it's made uh, malting grade, so uh, yeah, it's uh, some good quality barley. Anyway, we've got it loaded up now on the trailer. 10 tons of seed we want. Yeah, planet spring barley. Yeah, I'm just getting set up ready with these lorries. Everything's compact, set up. The augers pull out on hydraulic rams for the tailings. Swings out for the uh, load cells. Yeah. Expensive bits of kit as well. it for this week's edition of video diary on the farm it's uh, been a bit of a funny week really we uh, got a fair bit of drilling done to start with at melton road over the bank holiday it was sunny and then obviously the rain came on the bank holiday monday and uh, it's been wet ever since i mean uh, yeah i mean when you look outside sun shining but uh, at the minute but uh, yeah the forecasting Heavy overnight rain again tonight, so uh, yeah, sadly no drilling to be done at the end of this week. And uh, yeah, well, I mean we're getting on, we're getting a bit in, but uh, if we if we could drill everything, I think there's approximately about 280 acres left to drill uh, with some beans and barley. But uh, 
we'll probably not get it in to be honest but uh, anyway we'll keep nibbling away at a bit and uh, we'll do what we can but uh, all we can do is hope that uh, the weather changes but uh, yeah anyway thank you very much for watching hope you've enjoyed the content and if you have please hit that like share and subscribe and uh, catch you again next week